Okay, so we discussed the first part of assignment two in the last video. Today we will be discussing the second part. This is part two of the assignment, and as I told you earlier, you can get the PDF of this assignment from our Telegram group. The group link is given in the first comment. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon. Now, without further ado, let's start with problem number six. The pro problem number six reads like this. A long cylinder carries a charge density that is proportional to the distance from the axis. Rho is equals to kr. It is given to you. This is how the charge density varies with distance. For some constant k, to find the electric field inside this cylinder. So you know, using Gauss law, we can have we can calculate electric field uh, in different shape region. We can calculate the electric field uh, for the charge distribution, which has spherical symmetry. Or cylindrical symmetry or plan planar symmetry. So this symmetry given to you is cylindrical symmetry. So you can easily utilize the Gauss law. So you see, if you want to calculate the electric field in this cylindrical uh, region inside the cylinder, then what you can do? You can consider a Gaussian cylinder. Let's say at some distance r from the central axis. Okay, then you can apply the Gauss law integration of E dot dS is equals to Q enclosed by epsilon naught. Q enclosed you can find out from this rho integration rho d tau, and you can take the volume element. Volume element in cylindrical polar coordinate you know r dr d phi dz. So you can just give r prime dr prime d phi prime dz prime. So in prime coordinate we can write, and you'll be easily able to find out this. And you can see the electric field direction is this. Okay, and the direction of the area vector is also along this. Here also it is true, n cap, and the direction of electric field is. So only the curved portion will contribute in the flux. This flat portion will not contribute anything because the direction of the area vector and the direction of the electric field is perpendicular to them. It is each other, and you know E dot dS. If the angle between E and dS is 90 degree, then this cross, uh, dot product will be zero. That is why only the curved forces, curved faces, will contribute. And in this way, you will get the value uh, inside the cylinder. E is equal to one by three epsilon naught k r square. R cap and it is matching with option C. Okay, let's move to the next question, question number seven. Let's read the question first, then we'll discuss the solution. If the electrostatic potential V of r theta phi in a charge-free region has the form V of r theta phi is equal to f of r cos theta, then the functional form of f r. So, what is given to us? V of r theta phi. So it is a function of f r into cos theta. So it doesn't have Any phi dependency and it is uh, given in a charge-free region. Okay, charge-free region means what do mean by charge-free region? Charge-free region means your volume charge density is zero, rho is equal to zero. We can say, and therefore, instead of Poisson equation, we are going to use Laplace here. The Laplace equation, gradient square v is equal to zero. Now we can you know how to express gradient square v. In terms of the spherical polar coordinate, because here r theta phi, these are the spherical polar coordinates. So you can write the expression of gradient square v. We have already talked about this expression, and taking this v, you will expand this. Okay, and finally you will get an equation by inserting the value of v from here. You will get end up getting an equation. I am just writing the equation r square times del square f by Del r square plus 2 r del f del r minus 2 times f of r is equals to zero. Now you have to select the best choice for f r. Now whichever f r is satisfying this equation, that will be the correct f of r, right? Now if you check all the options, you will find that the option given in B, f of r is equals to a r. Plus b by r square. This is satisfying this equation. So this is f of r. You can manually check it. This is f of r. Find del f del r. Then find r into del f del r. Then find 
डेल स्क्वायर बाय डेल आर स्क्वायर एंड एज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट द स्टाइट इज एलवेट द वैल्यू ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड यू सी यू विल गेट इट टू बी जीरो एट ओनली ऑप्शन बी अदर ऑप्शन विल नॉट सैटिस्फाई दिस इक्वेशन सो दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट क्वेश्चन नंबर एट और दाजिज से ए स्टैटिक इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूट इन स्पेरिकल सेल ऑफ इनर रेडियस आर वन एंड आउटर रेडियस आर टू इनर रेडियस आर वन एंड आउटर रेडियस आर टू ओके लेट्स से दिस इज इनर रेडियस आर वन आउटर रेडियस लेट्स से दिस इज आर टू फाइन इन इशू द इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज डेंसिटी इज गिवन बाय रो इन बिटवीन आर वन टू आर टू मीन्स इन दिस रीजियन वॉट इज द चार्ज डेंसिटी गिवेन रो इज इक्व टू ए प्लस बी आर आर इज द डिस्टेंस ऑन द सेंटर जीरो इन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इन रीजन आर ग्रेटर दैन आर टू मीन्स सम हर आउट साइड ओके सो यू हैव टू फाइंड फील्ड एट सम रीजन आर ग्रेटर दैन आर टू मीन्स सम हर आउट साइड ऑफ दिस थिंग सो हाउ कैन यू डू दिस so here also you can utilize the gauss gauss law basically all most of the problems of this assignment is based on the gauss law second assignment okay so q and q similarly can be written as rho into d tau by epsilon not the integration should be taken over the volume now you see a oh, charge is only existing in between r1 and r2 in between r1 and r2 so whenever you will be calculating the total charge the charge density will only be integrated between r1 and r2 other regions are charge free region so that will give you the total enclosed charge okay so if you calculate this you can easily do it i am just showing you uh, the right hand side and the left hand side you can easily write it is uh, integration from r1 to r2 a plus br and d tau is 4 pi r square dr okay Uh, as we have to calculate the electric field outside um, this spherical cell you can say so you have to take a gaussian gaussian surface spherical gaussian surface outside of this so this is the gaussian surface okay this is the gaussian surface so e dot ds will be e into 4 pi r square you know the direction of electric field is this and the direction of area is also this so cos 0 so we can easily do this problem and we will get option d to be the correct option so simple problem i have just explained you what you have to do i think we will be able to do that let's move to question number 9 what does question number 9 says A charge distribution has the charge density given by rho is equals to Q times delta x minus x naught minus delta of x plus x naught. For this charge distribution, the electric field at uh, electric field at two x zero zero zero. You have to calculate. So this is very interesting problem. So if you are given rho. How can you calculate electric field? You know, if you have a point charge Q, and you have to calculate the electric field at some distance r, then what is the formula? One by four pi epsilon naught Q by r square. So here, instead of giving it directly, you are given a distribution type thing. But you are smart. You can <laughs> you can just decode. What does it mean? We'll come to this later. So Q, the total charge, is equal to integration of rho into d tau so here it is one dimension so rho into dx so everything is happening along x direction so we are just drawing the x cap direction okay so if you see uh, let's name this q we have already taken q is there in the expression so we are taking it as small q okay 
this is the charge actually so integration q times delta x minus x not minus delta of x plus x not dx now this is these are the direct delta function and you see this will give you plus q if you consider x is equals to x not and this will give you minus q if you consider x is equals to minus x not fine this is this we can write from the property of direct delta function from this we can conclude that plus q charge is situated let's say at x not here it is plus q and minus q charge is situated at minus x not this is the zero you have to calculate the electric field at 2x0 0 0 so along x axis this is x0 this is your 2x0 so here you have to find out the electric field how can you find out so for plus q you see as i uh, as i told you earlier for plus charge the electric field or direction will always be outward for minus charge electric field direction is inward so for plus q the electric field direction will be outward and for the charge which is situated at minus x not the charge will be sorry the electric field will be towards it so the net field let's say at point p at 2x0 0 0 what will be the net field there so we can just write it in this way e is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not obviously the electric field because of uh, this will be greater q by x not whole square and this is minus q by total distance is 3x not so 3x not whole square here the denominator is more so the uh, dominating thing will be this plus q and the effective direction will be x cap direction so if we evaluate this you will get the answer uh, 2q by 9 pi this will come out to be 2q by 9 pi epsilon not x not square x cap so all the i have almost solved it 90% option a is found to be correct i hope you have understood this amazing problem now let's move to the last problem of this set problem number 10 what does problem number 10 says okay this one is interesting the point at q is located at the center of a thin ring of radius r this is the thin, uh, thin ring of radius r uh, a point charge q is located at the center of the thin ring with uniformly distributed charge minus q and minus q charge is distributed over the perimeter even sir the magnitude of the electric field is saying that the point lying on the axis of the ring at a distance x from its center okay so let's say this is point p so you have to calculate the electric field at this point p so i think you have read this kind of theory before also okay so you know the electric field because of a point charge on by four pi epsilon not q by x square and you also know the electric field because of a charge which is distributed over some ring okay so the effective field at this point will be the superposition can be derived from the superposition okay now so let's say the electric field at p will be for the plus q charge it is quite straight forward 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q by x square now if it were positive charge which were distributed at ring then the direction would have been let's say if you consider this z cap direction it would have been z cap and for this plus q it is away from this so it is z cap there is no confusion but while reading the theory we took it for positive charge and we saw that the direction is z cap now as negative charge is given the direction will be minus z cap so whatever electric field this plus q charge is creating this minus q charge will reduce the amount so this will be minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q into x by r square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 or you can also 
or think in this way this is a like vector sum of these two electric field here it is minus q so instead of plus q we are just putting minus q so in whichever way you can understand this you can understand and what else so you will calculate this and you have to utilize this condition x much much greater than r okay so by doing some approximation by expanding it in series you can get the answer and it will come out to be option c okay i hope you will be able to do it now uh, what you can do you can uh, just take this r square plus x square to get 3 by 2 common and you can just expand whatever uh, whatever thing you are getting you can just expand it into some series and you can implement this x much much greater than r condition if x is much much greater than r so we can say that r by x is much much greater than less than 1 okay na so in this way you will get some clarification and you can do the approximation and you will get the option c to be correct if you cannot solve it you can let me know i will upload a dedicated video for this so these were the 10 problems if you feel that you need any solution in detail you can let me know in the comment section and this is all for this video see you guys in the next video thank you an academy is india's largest online teaching learning platform you can prepare for various competitive exams like csr net net jest iit jam tfr especially if you are preparing for csr net physical science you can join me on an academy plus i cover all the nine units of csr net physical science syllabus my approach is especially i precisely give you the concept of the concerned topic then i discuss the relevant mathematical formula and do the analysis relevant problem based on the topic including previous year questions are discussed homework and assignments are also given this is my profile and if you want to join my academy plus process you can enroll for this course and if you are new to this an academy uh, platform you can take an academy plus subscription using our referral code felix app and an academy will give you 10 percent off so take the an academy plus subscription today and put your feet one step ahead towards reaching your goal thank you